everybody, how is it going? Uh, I am back for a Dead Man Money Making Guide. Um, I will show you a way how to make money that is no school requirements at all and can make you a lot of money. So if you have, you know, 30 something K, what you can go is you can go to the Grand Exchange and you can buy clay. Buy clay. I buy for 55 or 155 each. I mean, that usually does the trick, I mean, uh, um, see, I can buy 198 right now, well, look, how much are they buying for, cool, it doesn't say, um, so, I'll show you a quick way to get there, oh, by the way, you are going to need 14 buckets, so, I would suggest you buy those. I would bring some food with you. You might get PK'd, you might not. Depends on how and who the people are. Um. <clears throat> so, I'm going to show you this and this requires one mining which you get instantly so like I said no levels um so you go over here hopefully I get a bead give me a bead sorry for the sidetrack I just uh you know need this 10 strength and also 22 Hit points as well. And uh, of course it's not gonna give me the oh there it is. Um so what you wanna do is you wanna go that way from the um Varak West Bank I would suggest and go closer to the road, not to the Grand Exchange, because that is a uh, a kill zone. Um, <clears throat> look, someone's here doing some iron. I don't know how much iron is, but we are here for coal. So, uh, once you get your full inventory, which I'm just gonna do 14, because that is technically a full inventory. Because you have to have 14 buckets as well. Well, you don't have to have 14. It's just more efficient to do it that way. Um, see, um, it really doesn't take this long at all. But sometimes it does. And, I mean, you, you level up quickly. Like, see, I, I went from 69% to 94%. So... And I'm only at level 9. I mean, like, you still... Hold on, let me see. Let me... Do something over here quick. Okay, so we are currently at 5. Um, I want to see how much XP per hour it is. And we'll do that for the rest of them. So, it's in 167k per hour, but obviously it's going to go down, depending on what kind of act, or pickaxe you're using, and also like your level, and like everything. So, I mean, yeah, now it's 14k, that's, that's kind of more realistic. I'm already at 11 mining. See, so Oh, now it's going up to 15. I mean, I'm already at 9. So, I'm not going to pause it. And, okay, so, to get buckets, you get one straight off of Tutorial Island. And there is, I think, a spawn in... Uh, Lumbridge, and there's, actually, there's a spawn in Varrock, too. I believe the spawn in Varrock is located in the castle, in the kitchen area. 
And the one for um the bucket in the um in Lumbridge I think is in the lower half of the castle. But watch out because that is a kill zone and I don't want you guys to be dying out here. So I got fourteen and I gonna I didn't get attacked at all. It's so useful. And I would suggest this right away for money making. Like don't do like fletching that because you will lose money. A lot of money right away. Straight from fletching. So anyways, you run to Vera uh East Bank when you are done. I would suggest getting about a hundred or two hundred or even more if you want to. Um, and then just go over here, fill your buckets up with water, and then after you fill your buckets up with water, you use the water bu bucket of water onto the clay, and then you'll get the soft clay option, and then you hit make all, and this doesn't take long at all. It's like 10, 15 seconds. Um, and then what I suggest doing is when you are done with the soft clay, you use a bucket on the fountain. And then when you go back to the bank, you won't have to go back to the fountain. You can just stay there for uh, like 14 more. And then you have to. So it it's like. Maybe a little bit faster. Um, I know when I do like 100 or so, it's super fast. But, um, uh, see, if you see in this lower, if you see in this lower, um, the chat box, the uh, Grand Exchange bought 89 out of 198 clay. It does buy pretty fast, and that's really nice. I mean, one time I was selling these soft clay for three fifty, and that was only one time. It was selling for two fifty, and then it went down. Um, gotta drop a bucket of water here for a sec. And then these instantly sell, which is a good thing. See, I just made three point four k. Which totals out to be, um, whoops, hit stream, which totals about to be 243 GP each. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but it is. It actually is a lot of money, and, I mean, to be doing this, like, I was straight profit, too. I mean, let's see here. A mana for 155 each. And let's just say it stays at 243, which it won't. It will go up or it'll go down. Like, it fluctuates depending on the people that are buying it. Um, so let's see here. If we go once, or was it? 243 minus 155, you make 88 profit per. So let's say I'm doing 198, I think it is. Yes, I'm doing 198. I would make a total of 17k profit. And that is a lot of money. And I didn't even do uh, the stronghold yet. So if you do the stronghold right away, that's 10k off the bat. 10k into. And I was, if you guys would not like uh, flood the market with buying, that would be amazing. I mean, let's say, let's see how much you can buy for 10k. Okay, so. Alright, so you can buy 64 right away. And if you sell them, let me get my calculator back up. So 64 right away. 
So 64 uh, times 88, 5 grand, almost 6 grand, and that means more you can buy. And here's another thing. If you are, you know, waiting for him to buy, just come over here with your axe and just start woodcutting because, I mean, just get a log real quick. I do oak logs because it's a little bit faster for me. Um, so let me sell this. I mean, yesterday these were selling pretty good. So, I mean, oh, 40 GP. 40 GP, okay, so I'll just go with 35. So. Thirty five times uh what was what would it be? Twenty seven, twenty eight, making almost one K per still, so that's pretty amazing. Alright, thank you guys for watching and have a great